Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the top 10 guns in season 9 As always before we start I have to remind you of the following The first and the most important thing is I'll be ranking the ground guns only By that I mean the guns you can find across the map So there will be no M13 and no HS04 I'll just help you decide which gun to use from the moment you land until the first loadout airdrop Where you can get your hands on your broken metagun Second of all the damage test in this video is against an enemy with 300 HP with all shots directed to the chest area finally this ranking represents my personal opinion i might be right and i might be wrong but anyway i'll provide you with some stats and details that will help you decide by yourself and make your own list based on your play style let's get started In number 10, we have the RAS 79U. This gun has a fire rate of 782 rounds per minute, and at 5 meters range, it deals 26 damage, killing the enemy with 843 milliseconds. As for the killing time at 15 meters range, surprisingly, it remains the same, because this gun still maintains the same damage at that range, and that's what makes it special compared to other SMGs. In addition to that, the RAS has high hip fire accuracy and easy to control with ADS. But the reason why I didn't rank it higher, because the killing time is a high priority for me when it comes to SMGs, especially to counter shotgun users. And the rush sadly doesn't kill fast compared to other SMGs that you'll see later in this video. As for the mods, I mostly use the same ones for all SMGs. So it's the extender mod, followed by the hipfire mod, and then the range mod. Moving on to number 9, we have the Echo. I don't really have to talk much about this gun, you guys already know how toxic it is. And it's hard to give an accurate killing time because shotguns have a random bullet spread. But I'll give you an example. At 5 meters range with hip fire, it takes around 3 to 4 shots, and with ADS, around 2 to 3 shots. Airdrop incoming. Keep in mind that this is without any mods. If you use mods like range mod and long barrel mod, then you can kill the enemy with one or two shots if you use ADS at less than 5 meters range. Many of you will be shocked to hear this, but I placed the AK-47 at number 8. This gun without a gunsmith build is like Batman without his money. Yes, he can still fight, but without his gadgets, he won't survive. The AK-47 has a fire rate of 552 rounds per minute, and at 10 meters range, it deals 33 damage, killing the enemy within 978 milliseconds. And at 40 meters, the damage drops to 23, so it kills within 1.41 seconds. So without the gunsmith attachments, there isn't really anything special about it. And you'll see later on this video that there are other assault rifles better than the AK-47. But with a gunsmith build, this gun can easily be a top 3 gun if not the best gun. Because adding attachments to it combined with a vertical recoil mod, range mod and an extender mod makes a huge impact on the recoil and the accuracy to the point where it becomes completely broken. In number 7, we have his brother, the AK-117. This gun has a fire rate of 772 rounds per minute, and at 10 meters range, it deals 24 damage. So it kills within 932 milliseconds. And at 40 meters range, it deals 16 damage, killing the enemy with 1.4 seconds. So it beats the AK-47 at both ranges, and on top of that, it has a better hip fire accuracy. The only issue I face when using this gun is the struggle to control it at longer ranges beyond 30 meters. And that's where the AK-47 can be better. As for the mods, first of all I use an extender mod followed by a lateral recoil mod and a vertical recoil mod. The King has fallen. The MX-9 is no longer the best SMG this season as it received a damage nerf. But I still consider it to be one of the best guns in the game. It has a fast fire rate of 871 rounds per minute, and at 5 meters range, it deals 25 damage. So it kills within 757 milliseconds. And at 15 meters, the damage drop isn't that bad, with 21 damage killing the enemy within 964 milliseconds. So it has a good killing time combined with one of the best hip fire accuracies and a decent mag size. 
Next, at number 5, we have the Fennec. This gun has claimed its path back from the MX-9 as the fastest killing SMG in the game. With an insane fire rate of 1091 rounds per minute and 25 damage at 5 meters range, the Fennec kills within 605 milliseconds only. And at 15 meters range, the damage goes down to 19, killing the enemy within 825 milliseconds. So it beats the MX-9 at both ranges. As for the mods, again, it's the same for both the MX-9 and the Fennec, with extender mod, hipfire mod, and a range mod. You might think I'm trolling or joking here, but I'm dead serious. The SMRS has been broken since the start of season 8 and many players still don't realize it. With a direct body hit, this rocket launcher can kill an enemy with one shot only even at long range. And even if you don't manage to get a direct hit, you can still deal some heavy splash damage. Like in this example, I melted 215 HP from there. And what makes it even more powerful is the fast rocket velocity. It allows you to aim easily and at the same time it leaves no chance for your enemy to react. However, there are few disadvantages with the SMRS, mainly the reload time. By the time you finish reloading, the game is already over. Second of all, Activision decreased the drop rate of the SMRS, so it's a bit harder to find in this season. And on top of that, you have to search for rockets. Finally, the mobility of this gun is really bad, and you can be an easy target for other enemies, especially snipers. You become their favorite meal. We arrived to the top 3 guns, starting with the Holger. I knew the Holger was good since last season, but honestly I did not expect it to be this good. This gun has a fire rate of 711 rounds per minute, and it deals 31 damage at 10 meters range. So it kills within 760 milliseconds. And at 40 meters range, the damage drops to 21, killing enemies within 1.18 seconds. So at close range, it has a killing time of an SMG, and at mid range, it beats every other assault rifle on this list. And on top of that, it has 100 mag capacity, which means you can kill a full squad without reload. However, just like any other gun, the Holger has few disadvantages, mainly the slow ADS speed and the slow mobility. But overall, I really think it's a solid gun and I might start using it more. As for the mods, I recommend a fast ADS mod followed by precise shot mod and a lateral recoil mod or a range mod. Moving on to number 2, we have the BY-15, one of the best starting guns in the game, and in the right hands, this gun is scary. So again, just like the Echo, it's hard to give you an accurate killing time, but I can tell you that it's extremely deadly. Without even having to ADS, you can kill an enemy with one shot only if you aim to the head. But if you want to guarantee one shot kill, then make sure to use it with ADS. Keep in mind that I'm testing this while standing still, which means the accuracy is a lot higher. But in an actual fight, you'll mostly be moving, so the accuracy will be lower. And I mean you can still one shot enemies, but in most cases it will take 2-3 to three shots without much. And if you manage to find long barrel mod and a range mod, then this gun becomes broken within 10 meters range. And you don't even need a third mod, but you can use a fast ADS mod. Before I started testing all the guns, I honestly did not expect the M4 to be the best gun. Not even on top 5. But with all the changes to the game and the new health system and attachments, this gun managed to climb to the top. So the M4 has a fire rate of 689 rounds per minute. And at 10 meters range, it deals 26 damage, killing the enemy within 957 milliseconds. And at 40 meters range, it deals 20 damage, killing the enemy within 1.21 seconds. So at 40 meters range, it beats both the AK-117 and the AK-47. But at close range, the AK-117 beats it by a small difference. However, the M4 can still be better at close range because it has a higher hip fire accuracy. You can tell by the size of the crosshairs. If we put them next to each other, you can notice that the M4 has smaller crosshairs than the AK-117, which means better hip fire accuracy. Other than that, the M4 always been one of the easiest guns to control since season one. As for the mods, I would use an extender mod followed by a lateral recoil mod and a precise shot mod. Since it has a bit of high bullet spread compared compared to other assault rifles. To be fair, both the Holger and the M4 can be on rank 1. It's really up to you. As I mentioned, if you don't mind the mobility and the ideal speed of the Holger, then you should pick it up as it kills faster than the M4. I really hope you found this useful, and if you did, then please consider leaving a like and sharing it with your friends. And let me know down in the comments what your top 3 guns are in this season. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.